In this video, we will look at four examples of creating equivalent numerical expressions. Numerical expressions that have the same numerical value are called equivalent numerical expressions. In the first problem, we're asked to write an expression equivalent to the expression below using subtraction at least once. And we are given the expression six plus five. Well, six plus five is equal to 11, and therefore any numerical expression that is also equal to 11 would be an equivalent expression to six plus five. But we're asked to use subtraction at least once, which means you need to find a difference equal to 11. Well, 12 minus one is equal to 11, and therefore 12 minus one is equivalent to the expression six plus five. Well, 13 minus two is also equal to 11, and therefore 13 minus two is also equivalent to the expression six plus five. But notice how the directions say use subtraction at least once, so while either of these expressions would work, we can also equate an equivalent expression using subtraction more than once. For example, 15 minus two minus two is also equal to 11. So either of these expressions, 12 minus one, 13 minus two, or 15 minus two minus two, are equivalent to the expression six plus five using subtraction at least once. Let's go and just use 13 minus two. But there are an infinite number of expressions they use subtraction at least once that are equivalent to six plus five. The next problem we're asked to write an expression equivalent to the expression below using addition at least once, and we are given the expression 16 minus 12, which is equal to four. So now we need to write an equivalent expression using addition that's equal to positive four. For example, three plus one is equal to four, or two plus two is equal to four, or we could write two plus one plus one is equal to four. Any of these expressions involving addition are equivalent to the expression 16 minus 12. Let's go ahead and just use two plus two. Next, we are asked to write an equivalent expression to 10 times two that uses addition at least once. So we are given 10 times two, which is equal to 20. We need an equivalent expression that uses addition at least once. So because 10 plus 10 is equal to 20, 10 plus 10 is an equivalent expression to 10 times two that uses addition at least once. Of course, we could also think of many others. For example, 18 plus two is equal to 20, or five plus five plus five plus five is also equal to 20. Let's go ahead and just use 10 plus 10. And then finally, we're given the expression eight divided by two. Well, we know eight divided by two is equal to four. We're asked to write an equivalent expression that uses subtraction at least once. So now we want a difference equal to positive four. For example, six minus two is equal to positive four, and so is 10 minus six. We can also use subtraction more than once. For example, we could write 12 minus two minus six equals four. And because the difference is equal to four, it's equivalent to eight divided by two. Let's go ahead and just use six minus two. I hope you found this helpful.